trip to California, USC, then turning right around and heading to Washington the very next week. Two very long trips back to back. Hopefully we get out of here before the weather really sets in. <laughs> it is long. With the crews that we have put together for these both these trips, it gets done in record time. Typically we'll show up on Wednesday afternoon about 4 o'clock and we'll load up all of the equipment, all of the football stuff that's heading to both the stadium and to the hotel. And then there's always two of us drivers and we'll go straight through. It makes me long for the days of the Big 12, but these trips to the Pac-12, they of course tend to be greater distance. Yeah, that was tough. I mean, the weather coming home for those guys Sunday was pretty rough. They had to go around through Albuquerque just to avoid the weather. Boy putting chains on an 18-wheeler. To go out to L.A. and then get back Sunday night, unload Monday morning, and then turn around and reload Wednesday to come up here to Seattle, it is kind of grueling. It was four and a half days to L.A. and five days here. Quite a bit of traveling. It was 1,200 miles out to L.A. and 1,300 miles up here. So it's, it's quite a bit of driving. I've done this since 2010. It's just an honor to work for the University of Colorado and to be part of the team behind the scenes, getting the equipment there. You know, it's hard to play a football game without the equipment.